Hello, friends. Welcome to my channel. I am Ananda Rose, and uh, I hope you're well. I hope everything is going according to plan in your world um, today. So today is Tuesday, and I am recording the second of the car, uh, or recording this video to bring in a light language message for the second day of this week. If you watched yesterday's message, then you would know I had said I suddenly felt guide, guided to go back to doing a daily message. I thought initially it's a weekly message, but just for now, for this week, I am to do a daily message. And so, you know, it's kind of normal, right? If you heard somebody say that, it's just for now. I only know about what I'm going to do now, this week or today. I don't know what, what's going to happen today, uh, tomorrow. Uh, will I be saying the same thing? Because things are so fluid and we're just changing and everything is moving like the way it is and energy is shifting so fast and lights coming down so intensely and so quickly. So friends, I I hope all of you are well. I was wearing a, a scarf and I just decided not to. Um, <clears throat> I hope all of you are well. I hope that you're navigating your life in the best possible way for you. It's um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting time at the moment. Everyone I speak to tells me um, or is telling me about, I've just got to get closer to the microphone. Sorry, friends. Has been, has been telling me about how things are so, um, well, not as it should be or how they can't seem to be able to um, do the work they do like they used to do it. And they are not committing to long-term things because Things change so quickly and suddenly that um, they have to change plans sometimes, you know, more than once in a day. I hope you're navigating this well. Apart from this, there's so many other things going on, right? And I hope that you're taking care of yourself. Self-care right now is so important. I was talking to somebody yesterday <clears throat> who had an energy healing session. And they'd had this energy healing, healing session and there was a lot of stuff in their energetic body, in their aura, in, you know, in the emotional body that they were not aware of. Yeah, they were feeling things in the physical body, but uh, and there were things in the physical body that we don't think about. Like we don't think about, oh, you could, you could have, a, you know, a, a, something that looks like a metal sheet or you could have stuff that's um, AI generated, you know, things like that. Now, I'm going to encourage you, light worker, light being, star seed that you are, even if you are doing work in terms of energy, like you yourself, uh, a Reiki master or, you know, bring in healing for others, please look after yourself in the process. Go and have an energy healing session from time to time, because we pick up things. We pick up things. We also, I think we do not fully understand what we're up. I don't want to say up against or up what we're facing. What is happening in the spaces beyond what we see with the physical eye? Even the intuitive eye doesn't give us all the information all the time, because I don't think we could cope with it if we, you know, if that was the case, right? If we got all the information right away. So my, my advice is no matter what you're doing, make sure that you also have energy healing. You also have someone you go to that you trust and that you have energy healing to the point of, <clears throat> you know, uh, where you are lying down and someone is just doing auric magnetic healing on you and just clearing blocks and clearing because the blocks are sometimes there because things are there. You know, um, things are there to, I suppose, counteract all the energy healing you're doing, all the, the things that you say with this, with this mouth, the things that you're speaking about, the things that you're thinking, all of that is being counteracted to sort of keep you stagnant, keep us stagnant. I won't say you, I'll say uh, us now to keep us stagnant. Because saying you almost feels like I'm I'm talking about you and not me. And I know I'm talking about all of us. Okay. So sorry, it's a very South African thing to use the word you. Um, but saying going back to that, just 
thinking that we need to have some support ourselves with energy healing. It's okay to say that because remember, we've learned now since it's really come to the forefront since 2023 that even though we might be on we might have been on the journey for 20 years and 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 we might have been going through our lives understanding um you know how uh energy healing works and and all of that stuff but we too need that we too need to be supported and so that's my little pep talk for the day i didn't think i was going to talk about that but there you go <laughs> it came out so today i want to talk about something called it's really about relationships again. What I forgot to say yesterday was that we are we were in the nine nine portal. We just entered the nine nine portal. Nine nine portal, I'm understanding, is symbolic of things ending and new things beginning. Okay, because when something ends, another thing starts. As they say, when one door closes, the other one opens, right? So the nine nine portal is symbolic of things ending. Now before we go into this transmission, I will, I'll do I'll do a light language, and then I want to do a bit of an announcement of the thing that I didn't tell you yesterday when I was when we finished our light language and a little bit more, and then I'm going to take us into this mess into this message that's coming through um, that I was guided to bring in for this week for all of us. So take a moment to breathe, everyone. It's relaxing with your feet firmly planted on the ground and just breathing gently. Maybe even, if it's not so, so pronounced, but so just naturally in the state of calm. Just being relaxed. And as we are in that relaxed state, we'll just come in and say, Oh, Hanasiha, Kurumahaita fan, Atikoto, Mahaina got to Maha. Oh, I and I and I in a moron and I made no 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 Makaia. Kumaka take a Makata Makain, not to fan, not to fan, not to fan, not fan. Thank you, beautiful ones. So welcome here. Welcome in the space. Thank you. Whoever that is, probably the chair, the Phoenix. We're channeling them. Kimaki to Makurma Tenema to Tarate, Tatakarana to Paranaka, it to the Arskat to Pa at Kufarnate. Urta Nakita and a Katofarana Haino to Farana. Oh, right. So let's talk about our announcements as we're coming back from that, friends. Before we get to that, and then I can't, I forget, we're in so much energy space that I, I can't disturb that at the end. So yesterday I put out a community post to everybody about the. Merlin Magic Transmission that takes place here on Ananda Rose on Friday morning at 8 a.m. New Zealand Standard Time, Friday the 13th, okay? That's what we're going with, Merlin Magic. So um, Craig Lyle is the practitioner that I'll be working with, and Craig Channels, not just a Native American uh, guide, um, not just um, uh, the Arcturians, but also he channels the energy of Merlin. And so if you feel like, hey, you know, I want to tune into that energy of Merlin because the energy of Merlin has returned to the planet. And so we are going to support people through that, bringing in that that to the forefront. We're going to do healing, healing mind, body, and soul. But we're also going to do light language that's going to, I'm going to do the light language that's going to bring in the light codes so that you can start awakening to your Merlin self, okay? Now, remember, Merlin is, is connected to the dragons. Merlin had his dragon. He was a dragon master probably a dragon himself in another lifetime, okay? So like many of us, that's there. The other thing is, <clears throat> oh, and before I go to the other thing, let me say, I will put the link in the description box if you want to register for it, okay? 
the other thing is I'm happy to announce that my Patreon, <laughs> my Patreon is up and running. It's been up and running for the last couple of hours. Um, so if there's a couple of things there that if you were interested in and you wanted to um, sign up for, please do. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to really have fun working on Patreon because I feel like it's going to bring us closer. It's going to have, we're going to have the opportunity to communicate with each other. You know, if you, if you decide to get one of the memberships and then we'll, we'll be meeting, we'll have our own little community. One of the things I really want to do through Patreon and is I would like to communicate with any of you out there, um, I would love it if we could have a, a regular time together in a month where if you've just come into your fifth dimensional tools or your, you've just got your fifth dimensional toolkit, I would love for us to do some work together in terms of how we support, how to support you in the background of, um, you know, when you, you've, you've awakened, you've come online with all your tools and then you're like, okay, how do I put this into practice and what do I do with it? What do I need to know? Like I was working with somebody in the last few weeks who needed to understand the chakras because quite often people that are awakening right now it, with their fifth dimensional tools don't have the backstory of the chakras. Okay. And so like, okay, so which chakra system are you going to work with? The seven of the third dimension or, or the seven of the fifth dimension, right? Or are you going to work with the 12 of the fifth dimension? And what does that mean? So, you know, things like that, or what kind of practice do we put into? Uh, okay, I think I have light language. How do we want to access that? So I really am looking forward to working with all of you on Patreon. And um, yeah, so much, so much excitement with that. And yes, if you can, um, uh, you know, look at it, that would be great. I'll put the link in the description box. Thank you so much for the support. Right, let's go. Let's do our message today. <clears throat> I'm going to share the screen. And I'll, I'll share the screen first. I'll come back. And when I do the light language, I'll, I'll, I'll take it off the screen so we can, we can um, <clears throat> use the musician's mode very well to support us now. Today, friend, the card is called Harmonic Flight. It's a number 29 card, which is the number, adds adds up to 11, which is a master number in numerology. So we do not take it further to be two. We use it 11, the master number. Harmonic flight. Now, the reason I brought this card, or this card actually found me yesterday because I, I got like six cards yesterday when I was doing the shuffling for what we needed to speak about this week. Now, the reason... <clears throat> This card has come to the forefront. Hang on a second. What is happening? Let's do this escape and see what happens. Oh, there we go. I am sharing the screen. Suddenly would, would not let me um, yeah, see anything else. Okay, there we go. Uh, I see what. I see what's happened. Let me go escape and then it comes back. Right, there we are. Sorry, friends. Technology and I. So what I wanted, to, what I'm talking about now is <clears throat> or what I was saying was the cards that came out was specifically what we had for yesterday was that card for the crystal keys and we talked about the Lemurian crystal codes the seed crystals the next one that came out was this one harmonic flight harmonic flight it really is about relationships and a lot of the astrology at the moment is saying to us relationships are going to be a big thing, a big theme in this next few months. We are going to be working with relationships. I was listening to what somebody read my tarot this morning. <clears throat> oh, she was doing a general one, but she just said something to this effect. She said, <clears throat> this is a time where we're going to meet soulmates from past lives. And we're going to reconnect to them. Now, if you know anything about what's going on with relationships at the moment, relationships that have been lasting for, I don't know, 60 years, for example, 50 years, 40 years, that no longer, that people are not, are, are not even falling out of love with each other, but they're saying the way this relationship is not work, is going is not working for me. 
And what I actually need is for this to change in this way. And if we can't, if we can't do that, then it's better we actually part ways. Now, this is happening to many people. I spoke to a gentleman on the weekend who basically left his relationship after 34 years. And only because he felt that he was living in the in the shadow of his wife, she made all the decisions for him. She, she was his, his broadcaster. And he felt he couldn't do life like that because it wasn't actually expressing who he was. Now, I've not heard of many men who do this, but there you go. That's what that's what this person has told me he's done and very happy. In fact, so happy that he's really taken the journey to self and finding himself and the higher self that, and well, his higher self and he might in better communication, right? <clears throat> so coming back to the soulmates. So the astrology is saying that soulmates of past lives are going to be reconnecting. Whether it's romantic, but it's very much romantic, but also it's going to be in other ways, in other aspects, family, or not, if not family, but friends, friendships and things like that. So, or aspects like that. So I feel like, friends, it is important to apply discernment in this time in the relationships that we are having or the re relationships we are pursuing. And so therefore, I feel today that this card, I, this card is talking about twin flames when I heard that this morning, I knew that this was going to be a se the second day's card. But when I heard that this morning, it kind of confirmed. So harmonic flight. I'll use some. I'll read some of the words that Izzy Ivy is using to describe this card. It says seeing the divine in the eyes of another, relationships with deep bonds, karmic connection, clearing illusionary projections. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Clearing illusory projections life-changing connection, transmuting dissonance, removing heart armor, being seen teamwork. This powerful image represents the divine we see when we look deeply into the eyes of another and our armor drops. When we meet another being present in the moment with no stories, judgments, or insecurities. She says she felt a little overwhelmed and intimidated when she painted this card. She said she wasn't quite ready for ready or didn't fully fathom the message. <clears throat> and then she goes on to say, then some months later, she experienced it when she was looking into the eyes of her beloved. This is, of course, Izzy Ivy speaking, right, about her personal experience. And she says shortly after that, she encountered the divine in the eyes of a stranger when space was held for, th for this surrendered openness. And then she goes on to read, speak now in general. She says, when we see the person standing before us as the gods and goddesses they are, it is a reminder that we are what we perceive in others. But also, when we drop into the mindless space of pure essence, we might see the world seeing us, seeing them, seeing the infinite, eternal, allowing all that is. I'll read it again. <clears throat> when we drop into the mindless space of pure essence, we might see the world seeing us, seeing them, seeing the infinite, eternal, allowing all that is. Many people are seeking their twin flame. As life-changing, world-rocking, and unfathomably beautiful finding the soul can be, it is quite possible one of the most intensely confronting, trigger-provoking, and sometimes painful connections we can have, right? She's just describing the twin flame. Those who are most dear to us can bring us to our greatest growth. That is why spending extended periods with our family can be challenging. When we can see and be seen, disarmored and trusting, we can come to deeper love. However, this deepening process can trigger the, re the release of outdated and unhealthy patterns. Shadows may be brought to the surface to heal. When we feel safe in the arms of our beloved, our defenses yield so we fall further into our hearts. However, fear-based reflections or projections can surface in this place of deep vulnerab vulnerability. Subconscious behaviors, including childhood patterning, can also present themselves. It can be, it can seem as if our partner is provoking difficulties, 
bringing things up and making it feel like our whole world is about to fall apart. At this point, we may want to retreat, but if we can be truly present, our fears can fall away. And it and this becomes an expansive experience. When we, when we have a profound twin flame connection that feels beyond worlds and lifetimes, we bond with the other person so strongly that we choose to face the fire when we would usually walk away. Our passion drives us to seek resolution, to heal ourselves, to overcome barriers, no matter how confronting it may seem, because our partnership is worth it. And when we can rise, we rise together. Somehow, incredibly, the universe seamlessly aligns the places the twin flames need healing. Their triggers may be synchronized so that when they feel uncentered or there is codependence or imbalance, it can be a very volatile space. If they find safety in love and they are willing to see and be seen, their triggers can blossom into deep transformative healing for them both. This healing can forge the foundations for long-term companionship. Alternatively, this completion could mark an ending. As the intense potency of a connection neutralizes, the relationship may transform into a different kind of unconditional love. Harmonic flight shows that when we harmonize our energies with that of another, in any form of relationship, we can soar to the sky. We can guide each other higher and higher by encouraging all that has been weighing us down to drop away. The divination meaning of this card is what you see in the eyes of another is a reflection of self. This card may be encouraging you to look at the bigger picture of a close relationship. A perceived challenge may be an illusion or projection. This card may relate to family, teamwork, community, and ways you can harmonize dissonance for deeper growth. The bonds you share give you the power to transmute your fears. Put time and awareness into resolving karmic connections or they will continue to play out. There may also be a life-challenging connection. There may also be a life-challenging connection on the horizon. Sorry, friends, for the noise in the background. Wow, isn't that a beautiful picture? Mm. Yes, really beautiful picture. Right. Friends, I, I'm just going to stop sharing for a minute because as we were, as I was reading this, I've just been thinking about, thinking about relationships. I mean, hey, how do you know it's a twin flame relationship? I'd love for you to share that information with me. I'll tell you why. Because I don't know if I have one. And I, I've asked the guides a while back, the guides that said, my twin flame is not on earth. Is that possible? I have soulmates and I have been clearing the karma with them, but is the twin flame on earth? Probably not. It's presented itself. Certain people have presented themselves in my world and the, the relationships I have with them make me feel like they're twin flames, but I'm not really into the twin flame thing, but it does exist. That doesn't mean because I am not really into it. doesn't mean it doesn't exist. For me, it's been, I've always felt soul connections with people. I felt things with people, like probably two or three people in my life where I felt like, yeah, okay, you know, mm, you finish my words. But is that a soul connection or is that a twin flame? And yes, I've had times where I've had relationships that were difficult to fathom. They were unfathomable. I've just come through one now. And, um, and this is a soulmate from a past life. And I had to figure out what is it that I'm supposed to do. And, you know, when I stopped and I thought, okay, I must stop fighting it. And I must tune into what it is I need to learn from the experience. <clears throat> I just started to have so much peace about it. I really had a lot of peace about it. <clears throat> and now I'm, I'm feeling like that's great. Whatever happens, happens. And just when last week I was thinking, oh, I think it's actually going to culminate into something important. 
yesterday I, I had an experience that made me think, no, I don't think so, because I really do not want anything in my life that doesn't look like how my guidance is um is is guiding me, how <laughs> my guidance is guiding me, how my guidance is is helping me navigate my life or supporting my navigation of life at the moment, right? I feel like it it's important not to be not to be going back into a world where I have to explain myself to people. I have to explain me and who I am and what I do because I think I've gone past that now. Yeah. Anyway, friends, let's let's get together now. Let's put our feet on the ground, firmly planted on the ground. What is it that you're going through in your life at the moment? In terms of a um <clears throat> a twin flame relationship, a soulmate relationship, in terms of a relationship that has come up now and you're thinking, why is this challenging? I am encouraging you today to go within, to tune in. Tune in to why that relationship is there. <clears throat> we are transforming and we are moving into the fifth dimension. We are multidimensional currently. And sometimes we, we, we're in the fifth dimension and other times we're out of it because we're like slipping between dimensions as well. Okay. What is it that seems to bring this relationship into your world? What is it that you need to learn? What is it that you need to clear before you have your complete transformation? Right now, for me, this is going to sound selfish. It's all about that. Are we moving forward? That would be my question to anyone. If I had a session with them, if I had anyone talk to me, I've and recently I have talked to people in sessions about relationships because often we can get that, we can we, we can want all of it and in the process lose what our guidance is trying to bring to the forefront for us. What is your purpose right now? What is it that you're looking for? So when we find that difficult relationships arise or arise relationships that happen and you just cannot fathom it, what is the message? Hmm? All right, let's breathe. Oh, that sounded a little bit deep. Okay. That's our incense. We are clearing. I hope yesterday's session didn't sound yesterday's recording didn't sound too invasive with the sound bowl, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use the sound bowl. I'm try I'm learning. This is the only way I can practice it, right? So I'm just gonna use it and I'm just gonna use the sound bowl three times. As we're tuning into the sounds that are disappearing there in the background, I promise I will get back better at this, friends. Kiana to a haina kai. Oh, Rahamate, Ronataki, Ranakufa, Nate, a to a day, a to a day, a romagain at him. Oh, Lelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Please, whatever experience is coming your way, explore it, not necessarily getting into detrimental situations for yourself and for the loved ones that are around you. No encouragement to be in abusive relationships. Just because it presents itself and because you feel a strong connection is no justification to be in a relationship. Roskata or Roskata. Certain things are presenting themselves to us right now so that we can clear the karma. Many of us have signed the contract to say, yeah, last lifetime. So last lifetime is not the, the, the end and the death of us, because we live on no matter what. Our soul goes and incarnates in, 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 in wherever else it feels ready to, whenever it feels ready to. So what I am saying is, I'm saying just because something comes around doesn't mean it has to be like the way it was in the past life or in the past. In this lifetime okay rakata what is it that you are learning what is it that you are clearing or go within go within go within go within the matrix will devise different plans for you to go back into it the ego will give you justification for why certain things you will choose it can make you look. It can make it not you look. It can make oh, it can make you look like you're taking the forward step. It can make it look like, all right, this is a good thing. Review, assess, and tune in. Especially with relationships. Our journey is so far gone, friends. We are so far ahead of where we thought we were going to be in this time and space as well. We have done so much work. We have gone the distance. We are still moving despite all the blockages, despite all the obstacles that have come in our way. This too can be your your understanding of this twin flame, soulmate, Kroneketa coming back into your world can also be a thing where it is misunderstood. Tune in, tune in, tune in. It's wonderful to have love. It's wonderful to have someone in your life that tunes in, that you feel so on the same page with, that you have so much in common with. There's all the benefits of loving and having companionship, and I'm for it. I'm a romantic, remember? Guru Tsikanantke. But we are now being called to really tune in and assess, review before responding. So now we're just going to bring in some light codes. We've done the light codes for clarity. We're going to bring in some light codes. 
for loving care, for self-loving care, for understanding, for tuning in, for authentically knowing yourself, for knowing your truth. Karimika ito. You're bringing in these light codes that are wisdom codes. Wisdom codes that initiate thought patterns that will be causing you to go inward. Harmonious flow within you. Take a deep breath, friends. Release. One more time. Release. One more. Gently coming back to space, coming back to the present. Kareti, kareti, kareti go. Feet firmly planted on the ground. As we come back, let's just take a moment slowly. I just feel the energy is quite intense. I feel like I need to go to slide down. I feel like I need to yawn and stretch it out. And just as we are here, let's just look back at the photo or the picture on the screen, friends. They're very beautiful twin flames, aren't they? Maritika, this picture shows how beautiful, how alike. Very little differences. Whatever you choose to do in this time and space for your, your twin flame, your soulmate, that you meet in this lifetime, that is from another, another lifetime, or even one from this lifetime. I wish you well to create, to be together. I'm going to stop sharing now, friends. Yeah, that's it.
Really wish you well, friends, in this new space that we're, we're navigating at the moment. You know, twin flame space. And um, if you're feeling uncomfortable like I am about it, ask yourself, what is that? What is the uncomfortableness of it? What is the reason that you're uncomfortable? What is the reason that you doubt? What is the reason that you fear? What is the reason that you worry? Are you afraid to lose yourself? The question you'd ask is, okay, so how can I lose myself? I had a lot of opportunities, but we think about past relationships and how we've lost ourselves in those relationships, right? Um, and people have, in the third dimensional lingo really is like this. We always lose a bit of ourselves in a relationship. But what if we gain something of ourselves that we didn't have before in a relationship? What about that side of relationships that they give you something you didn't have before too? No matter how bad it can end, no matter how good it can end. But do you know what I love most about it? We have evolved to this time and space where we are now openly saying, I recognize that this doesn't suit me. I recognize that this is a relationship I have for now, but it's not going to last forever because we're not meant to take that journey forever. We are meant to come to a certain point where we both then part ways because that is our agreement. So I hope today's light language brought in some light codes to assimilate, to support you in this time where relationships are really a, a, a strong focal point, a big part of everything that's going on. I trust that it's all good. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I'll put all the links in the description box for where you can find all the other stuff. I look forward to catching you again next time. Thank you so much. Namaste. Kormaketa. Karamaketa. Furankasutu. Kuraheta. Tabakaskota. Namaste. And Namahi. Omatatavaina. Until next time.